Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Point Teeth and welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. We're on Monday Night Raw and we are kicking things off with a backstage brawl here. Ladies and gentlemen, just as the show was coming on the air we got word that Dragunov and MGK were brawling in the back. We got cameras back there and it seems to be entirely true. These two have been at each other's throats over the Hardcore Championship for the past couple of weeks now since MGK arrived here. And now they're brawling in the backstage area. Because we are at the week of Extreme Rules. We've got Raw, we've got ECW, we've got Smackdown and then it is Extreme Rules folks. So we are very, very close. And these two are on a collision course to meet at that pay-per-view. I suppose they're getting Extreme to start things off here. Dragunov has got MGK on his shoulders thinking... Oh my god, definitely driver on the concrete! And a sent on. These two are just beating the hell out of each other in the back. Dragnov's got himself a chair. And rams it onto MGK's ribs. Goes again for a second shot, but MGK comes out of it. Takes him down, just heavy strikes. Dragnov was trying to cover up. MGK's got a chair now. He went for a swing. Dragnov caught him though with the elbow. Hitlock take over onto the ground. And look at that ram in the back of his head on the concrete. That table just collapsed there. I think Dragunov kicked the legs out. MGK going back to that chair. Yeah, perfectly connected. Unprotected headshot. Dragunov slapped the chair away. He's got MGK back up again. Is he thinking another? Oh no. Nice. No, just a square punch to the jaw. These two not slowing down. Dragon's got another chair and hits MGK in the head with it. Turnabout's fair play. Look at these two brawling now over the chair. MGK, nice little sharp left jabs. The strikes now. Strike combinations. Goes for a drop. He gets swatted onto the table. But MGK straight back up and brawling. He's a bit of a street fighter, is MGK. This environment. Probably does pretty one pretty good for him. Wonders for him, in fact. Who goes for a back elbow? Dragonoff was a little too short. MGK's got him up. Death Valley driver rolls through. Drum roll. Just slaps him in the face. I don't know if anyone's going to get back there and break this up. Did we not hire security tonight? Apparently we didn't. Oh god. MGK swinging brutally with this chair. One on the ribs, one on the knees, one on the shoulder, a collarbone. Nice lariat attempt, so MGK stays standing. Didn't connect perfectly. Oh god, flips him over. Knee strike to the jaw. Good lord. Shot to the knee there with the chair. And another one. So he's really working over that leg now. Dragon dives in with the clothesline. MGK drops on the concrete and the chair. And there's a torpedo headbutt. Is MGK awake? Apparently he's still conscious. I think this is going to keep going until one man can't keep going. And a DDT on the concrete. Good God, I think MGK is bleeding. And then ramming his arm onto that. Both of these men are going to be battered and bruised heading into the pay-per-view. Dragunov now working over MGK with the chair. And for again, but MGK rams him down with the axe handle. Are either one of these men going to make it to Extreme Rules? Those we'll find out. Kick to the ribs. Wait, is he thinking helicopter? He might be thinking helicopter on the concrete. He is! Good God, but I think Dragunov is still... Yep, he is still conscious. Someone really needs to separate these two, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Apparently MGK didn't like that chair anymore. This has been absolutely brutal. Dragging off. There's the torpedo headbutt again. And again, I think MGK is still somehow standing. Insiguri drops him down. The chair doing little pirouettes. More heavy blows from Dragging off. And, oh god, something like a rock bottom on the concrete. 
What is it going to take for these two? The ultimate strikes. It goes for Larry, but MGK stops him. MGK with the Northern Lights. He's been learning. So he might be a street fighter at heart, but he can wrestle now when he wants to. Rolling Death Valley driver from Dragonoff. And big, oh no, MGK counted it. Neck breaker. He saw that coming. Stopping Dragonoff dead. Kick to the ribs. Try to figure a second helicopter. This might put Dragonoff away. Dragonoff might be out cold. Bang! He is. Dragonoff is out cold. MGK walking away victorious in this brawl. Well, after that madness at the start of the show, we are moving on. And, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our first proper match of the night, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, Rhea Ripley, number one contender to the Women's Championship. She is taking on Sasha Banks tonight. Sasha has also had huge wins recently. This could be a perfect opportunity for Sasha to earn her way maybe into the women's title match. Maria has had her sights set on AJ Lee's Women's Championship. And uh, she has really gotten in the head of AJ, shall we say. Well, let's see if Rhea can continue to build momentum tonight. Taking on the boss, Sasha Banks. It's going to be somewhat of a mismatch. Some would say Rhea is a powerhouse through and through. Sasha got more of that, um, well, that junior style. I mean, this is more on a high flying offense and technical skill. Whereas Rhea will just beat you down and throw you around. But I suppose this would be a great warm up for Rhea because Sasha wrestles a very similar style to AJ. Get yourself an opponent of similar stature, similar skill. But for Sasha, this is more about getting herself back into the women's title scene. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. So we've seen Sasha a couple of times here in universe mode, but never in a title scene. She's not earned herself a championship opportunity as of yet. She's right on the cusp and tonight could be the night that gets her a shot. She might either be next in line or hell, an impressive enough performance. She might even get in the championship match. Time will tell but we've got to get there first. See Rhea pacing around on the floor on the outside. We're a bit like a caged animal right now. She wants to fight Sasha. She wants to take her down. Referee rings the bell and here we go. Sasha tried to come out swinging but Rhea stopped her pretty damn quickly. So Rhea's got to use that power game. And runs around. Big boot to the head. Shout out to the Smackdown Women's Champion. Foot caught. Sasha sweeps the leg out. Sasha's already going up top, like I said. She's going to go for that junior style. Waiting for Rhea to get back to her feet. There's a bit of distance to cover there. And Sasha decides against it. She's a smart competitor. She judged the distance, realized that was a bit too far for her to reach. Didn't want to dive in and give Rhea an opening. Nice kick combination. And she's still going with it. Rhea now fighting out. Back elbow to the ribs. Kick to want to follow up. She's got her up on the shoulders. Power slam. Doesn't even fall down with it. Just throws it to the mat. Trying to pick Sasha up by her hair. But Sasha back heel trip again. She's going back up a second time. And she's thinking this time she thinks she's got the distance. Diving splash. Sasha now. What's she waiting on? 
Oh, she's getting cocky. Just little sly kicks to the front of the, well, front of the forehead. I suppose you can't really get the back of the forehead, can you? Sasha is really working these high flying moves in this match. That seems to be a strategy. Oh, that was the mistake that Sasha tried to avoid earlier. She managed to come out of it though. The Meteora completely missed. And she came out swinging with the clotheslines and the, well, the back heel kick. Maria still wasn't able to take advantage. Sasha a little too fast. She recovered very quickly from that error. That could have been disastrous for her. Shot to the ribs and Sasha is thinking neck breaker. Rhea though fights out of it. Rhea Northern Lights. Perfect bridge. Sasha kicks out before even a one count. Rhea again goes to kick the ribs. Sasha catches it. Throws a leg down. Knees her in the jaw. Rhea slips behind. German suplex. Sasha folded up like an accordion as they used to say. Just sitting out on the lower spine. Rear now. Oh, modified camel clutch really sitting down on it. That wasn't even leaning back. She full on sat on Sasha's spine. Sasha trying to break the grip. Manages it. Snap mares rear out. Both back up. Sasha's got hold of rear. Dragging her towards the corner. Sasha thinking now she's got her upside down. Tied up in the tree well. Oh, but an up kick there from Rhea to get out of it. Another shot to the ribs from Sasha. Another kick to the ribs. She's going back for that neck break. Her arms are trapped. And Rhea again slips out. Multiple kicks from Rhea. She's got caught. Wait, she's thinking Riptide already. There she is. That came out of nowhere. Didn't go for the pin. Well, didn't go for the usual pin. So she throws around. Two. That might have been the mistake. Rhea probably should have just held it in for the pin then and there. That's Rhea thinking now. Oh, she's going in for that submission. Holding Sasha up. Sasha's planted a face and a shoulder blade into the mat. That might make it worse. I'm sure Rhea does have a name for that submission, though. I don't really know what it is. Probably should work that out. I am commentating. Sasha trying to fight out now. She's taking some of Rhea's best shots. She's got to be weakened. But Sasha, I think he backstab her. Flips her over, goes to the back statement, but Rhea's in the ropes. Rhea's a fairly tall competitor. Long legs. So when they flipped her over, she was really easily able to get her feet in the ropes. But Sasha's still going for the pin. She might have fought the backstab. I've done it too. Oh, Rhea survives. Hell of a match though. He, you know AJ is watching this one closely. Watching her number one contender and potential future number one contender. Who you say number two contender? Sasha again, she might think Meteor again. This time it's got a better distance, but Rhea sidesteps. Sasha really needs to think about going for that move because it's not working out for her. Just launched across the ring and Rhea again launches her again. I think Rhea's pissed now. She's angry. And a German. Rhea just well, showing her power, throwing Sasha around like she's nothing. But I looked up. Up in the air, 1031. But kicked away. Sasha's taking some big heavy throws there. But she's still fighting. So Sasha is used to being the smaller competitor in matches. Rhea is used to being the bigger. So they're both in familiar territory. Let's nice up knees there. Got to think that AJ's got to be hoping that this match goes on quite a while. And Rhea takes a hell of a beating. Because that would play into her, well, her, into her advantage. Easy for me to say. Kick to the ribs. Sasha going for a third attempt at this net breaker. Third time lucky. Holds it in for the pin. One. Two, three, Sasha pins the number one contender. What will this mean for Extreme Rules though? Could that put Sasha into the title picture? Rhea not happy at the loss. And here comes the women's champion. 
exactly who Rhea probably did not want to see after that loss to Sasha. But AJ slowly making her way into the ring. AJ somewhat laughing at Rhea, but Rhea is not going to back down. We know she came up short tonight. She's still got herself a championship opportunity, mind. But Sasha's name is very much going to be on the lips of anyone talking about this title scene right now. Well, folks, this one is going to be pure insanity. We have ourselves a tag team championship match. It was noted by the, uh, the board of directors that there are no tag team champions on Raw or SmackDown. So they decided to fix that. And tonight we have got three of the top teams here on SmackDown battling it out in a triple threat tornado tag match to crown the champions. Okay, I'll finish the job for you. It's Bret Hart and Christian Cage, the Bloody Hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bloody Hearts. We've seen them a few times here in Universe Mode, mostly with Bret around the European title scene. Shockingly, no European Championship match tonight. That's why Adam said he was going to do open challenges. I suppose that skipped tonight. And who's next? Well... It's the international nightmares, Mansoor and Cody Rhodes. We haven't seen much of them this season, but they have made the odd appearance. Yeah. There's a huge opportunity for both of these teams and the third team that we are going to see heading out here. We do have a few teams here on Raw. Three of the top teams are here right now. I'm not sure if this is actually Cody Rhodes, you know. No garish neck tattoo. Nothing on the uh, nothing on the tights, no logos. Is this the real Cody Rhodes? I'm not 100% sure. I'm a bit concerned. And the final team in this Tornado Tag Team Triple Threat match. Ladies and gentlemen... The team that have captured the hearts of the universe. It's Slapjack Amora. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura and Slapjack. Slapjack Amora on their way down to the ring. These two have been a, a somewhat surprise hit here in universe mode. They've popped up every once in a while and people can't help but love them. Although this live audience doesn't appear to. But Slapjack and Mora are here. Yeah, the audience doesn't seem too enamored with Slapjack and Mora. Interestingly. Ooh, Cody's getting right up in their faces. If that even is the real Cody. I'm not convinced it is, you know. We'll find out. Are we ready to crown ourselves Tag Team Champions? Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Rules. That means everybody is in the ring. Everybody is legal. First pinfall, first submission are your Tag Team Champions. This is going to get crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Referee, sir, ring that bell and here we go. Already everyone has come out swinging at each other. Christian and Slapjack squaring off. Bret Hart and Cody squaring off. Nakamura and Mansoor squaring off. Looks like Slapjack and Christian have taken it to the floor. Oh god, Christian bounced head first there. Off the announce table. And Slapjack going for the knee. Nakamura was trying to go for a knee as well. The Mansoor. Brett is dominating the, uh, the imposter Cody. Oh, edge of Mike from Christian. Nakamura is calling Mansoor up. 
Oh, goes for the middle rope. Kinshasa completely overshoots it. This is chaotic as hell. And I expected nothing less. It's going to be very difficult to call exactly what's going on here. And so thrown over the ropes. And Slap Jack and Mora are out of the ring with one member of each team. Christian from the Bloody Hearts. Mansell from the International Nightmares. Brett's got the ring to himself as the imposter code is on the other side. Brett slipping out of the ring now is joining the fray on the opposite side. Cody all on his own on the ramp side of the ring. Everyone else brawling on the floor. It's like Slapjack and Mora are in trouble. They're being beaten down. Cody's just taking a minute. And so for reverse DDT, Scorpio Death Drop style to Nakamura. Brett came over to meet Cody. Shot to the ribs. Slapjack's throwing the ring. Christian following him in. Now those two have got the center of the ring to themselves. Oh, Brett seems to just ram Cody into the barricade. Oh wait, Manso Falcon's arrow. Christian now headbutts. Oh, big shot to the ribs. What's Brett doing? Is Brett stretching Cody out? The Cody, the fake Cody. I'm doing uh, my finger speech marks whenever I'm saying that by the way Cody you can't see that as there's no camera so I don't know why I'm doing it you know it's completely for my own benefit Christian Jesus Christian diving elbow to the floor when the camera just cuts back and they're in some really weird position then you know what sure I think Cody's got himself an armbar Nakamura now kicking the hell out of Mansoor trying to cave his chest in and nice round out to the back of Mansoor's head. Nakamura might be thinking a variation of the Kinshasa, Kinshasa. There it is. Crushed. Cover. This could be new tag team champions. One, two. Everyone else is occupied. No, Mansoor just kicked out. Everyone else was completely preoccupied outside the ring. German suplex from Christian to Slapjack. Slapjack and Mora almost walked away as champions there. Mansoor now trying to build a bit of momentum. Cody, Cody's thinking Falcon's arrow on the floor as well. Nakamura sees off throwing Mansell back to the ground. Slapjack's trying to get in the ring now. Who's going to follow him? It looks like Cody, but Slapjack slips straight back out after Christian gets DDT'd. But Cody's caught Brett. Cody's thinking Vertebreaker. Cody's thinking Vertebreaker and he connects to Brett Hart. He's covering him. Cody might be about to win the championships too. No, Brett has survived in that one. Someone was just busted open, and I don't know who. Might have been Slapjack. I think Christian is just headbutting the hell out of Slapjack, but that might do more damage to Christian considering the mask. I don't know. Even though the mask is kind of more of just like a paper plate, but still. Okay, Shinsuke is not happy. Shinsuke's got the announce table open up. Brett's thinking sharpshooter in the ring. Brett's got the sharpshooter in. Christian's in to try and save it. Wait, Nakamura is not doing anything. Oh, Mansoor breaks it up. Mansoor just got in there just in the nick of time to break that up. Oh, God. That was a brutal clothesline. So now reverse DDT. Brett is just dragging Christian around. Not even Christian, sorry. Dragging the fake Cody around. Cover. Mansoor's there to break it, though. So saving the match a couple of times against a backdrop driver for his troubles. Brett dropping the forearm on Cody. Shinsuke in the ring now. One member of each team in the ring. One member of each team out of the ring. Christian's got a sharpshooter now on the floor. Nakamura seems to be running around to save his partner. And he is. Nakamura comes diving out there to save Slapjack. As well as Nakamura's not bothered about saving anyone else, just kind of wants to save Slapjack. Cody throws Brett from one side of the ring to the other. And just rams Brett face first into the buckle. Nakamura throws Christian into the barricade. And so back into the three now. Goes back for that reverse DDT. He's been working that pretty well in this match. Brett launches Cody from one side of the ring to the other. It's Brett thinking, scoop slam, Cody slips behind, neck breaker. 
Jumping Tornado DDT from Slapjack on the floor. Cody's got a cover though. Not even a two count. Nice landslide from Nakamura. Slapjack's in the ring. Looks to be calling Mansoor in. Wait, crossroads. Crossroads from Cody. Everybody's in the ring now though. One. Nakamura breaks it up before even a two count. Looks like now Slapjack kicking Mansoor down. Cody might be thinking another crossroads. Nakamura breaks it. Look at this strike coming in. It seems a double teaming from Christian and Nakamura. Wasn't expecting that one. Wait. Christian's got a cover. Slapjack with a powerbomb. Whatever Slapjack was thinking. Bret Hart was thinking otherwise. Oh god. God buster from Christian. I said this match is so hard to keep up with. Oh god. Slapjack. Nice. Saito of his own. Brett very quickly broke that up though. I'm so lost for what's going on right now. Everyone's in a heap in the ring. Cody. Backbreaker to Brett. Standing moonsault from Slapjack. Munsell's the only one who's taking a break. Christian seems to be setting up maybe for the Umbrella. Or the kill switch, whatever you want to call it. He's trying. He's got Nakamura hooked. Kill switch from Christian. Rolls him over. Hooks the leg. Nakamura might be out. Oh god, Slapjack out of nowhere. Came from off screen. Slapjack stopping Christian there from doing anything else than Nakamura. Slapjack and Moore have really had each other's backs in this one. Cody's thinking of another vertebrae. It's a Brett. But both members of Slapjack and Moore are in the ring. Bang, the vertebrae. But Nakamura goes for the pin. Slapjack tried to stop Cody from breaking it, wasn't quite quick enough. Brett's just swinging. Brett's just swinging. Oh, Brett didn't realise that Slapjack had the pin there. Or if he did, he didn't care. There's now Brett bringing the arm. I think Cody's bleeding. Shouldn't be surprised about that. Oh, God, Brett. Nakamura looks hurt on the floor. Somebody might want to check on him. Face crusher from Christian. God, Brett has just lost his mind. He's just swinging at everybody. He has really gone insane. Brett is honestly just throwing hands right now. <laughs> oh, Samoan drop from Cody to Slapjack. Christian and Mansoor brawling on the floor. Christian, sorry, Cody. The fake Cody. Imposter Cody. Vertical suplex from Brett. Nakamura back into the throw now. Both members of Slap Nakamura are in the ring. Discus Lariat. Cody on the apron. Nakamura with the stun gun. Everybody's out of the ring now. Perfectly timed for everybody to get out of the ring. Slapjack throws the imposter Cody in. Brett's following them both. Somebody else just got busted open. Oh god. Cody rolled out of the way the diving elbow, but Brett. Excuse me, Brett just dove in for a sharpshooter. I had to sneeze. Very inappropriate timing to sneeze, I know. Elevated flatliner. Suddenly everybody's in the ring except Christian. God, and now it's Sep Nakamura. Cody's thinking crossroads. He is, he's connected perfectly. The hell's going on? Scoop slam on the floor. Christian diving reverse DDT while Cody is going for the pin. Two. Oh my god, the international nightmares win it. Christian wasn't paying attention. He went for a diving reverse DDT and went for a pin himself. The fake Cody Rose and Mansoor are here and have won the Tag Team Championships, crowning our first Tag Team Champions here on Raw. Well, it's main event time, folks, and we have got ourselves an interesting match for the main event tonight. Kyle O'Reilly 
is going to be teaming up with his number one contender, Brock Lesnar. We have seen this happen to Kyle a couple of times where he's ended up teaming up. But this is interesting. Kyle is hopping around, ranted at him, who is accompanying him to the ring. I don't know why Kyle is so uh, enthusiastic here and letting Adam walk to the ring first, but he is teaming up with Brock Lesnar. Adam's going to be at ringside for them. Brock's Kyle's number one contender. But they are taking on, from what I understand, we are finally learning who MGK's faction are, MGK's headbangers faction. We are finally learning two members of it tonight because they are going to be the men who are taking on Brock Lesnar and Kyle O'Reilly in this match. And it's a, it's a hell of a way to debut. I understand MGK is not going to be with him. He's getting medically evaluated after the brawl at the start of the show. And his partner from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Here's big bad Brock Lesnar. You know Brock's got his eye on Kyle's championship. And uh, Brock not intimidated in the slightest, walking right past the world champion and Rancid Adam. The European champion and the world's champion. I believe Adam's still European champion. He should still be European champion. He didn't come out with a belt though. Did Adam lose the title last week and I forgot? Either way, Brock Lesnar in the centre of the ring right now. Brock going to be teaming with his opponent for this Sunday's pay-per-view. We saw this before when Kyle was feuding with uh, Shawn Michaels and Kyle was te team teamed with Shawn a couple of times leading up to their big pay-per-view clash. But let's see how they do tonight. Teaming up against a team that we have not yet seen and lucky who it is. This is interesting. This is an interesting pairing. Dolph Ziggler and Grand Metalik are apparently two men who have aligned themselves with MGK. Did not see that coming. But you know what? I can get behind it. Let's see how well these go these guys gel as a team. Metalik and Ziggler. Not accompanied by MGK tonight after the brawl earlier. You know what, I'm cool with it. If these guys are the guys that have aligned themselves with MGK for the headbangers, that could be a pretty that could be a pretty dangerous alliance. Hey, dangerous alliance. Here we go, referee rings the bell and Kyle tags himself in straight away. That's probably not a smart move to play head games with Brock Lesnar. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. There we go. World champion Kyle O'Reilly starting things off against Dolph Ziggler. In your main event tonight on Raw. Got Dolph just hammering down with the shots already. You know Kyle's mind is not going to be on this match. He's got to be thinking about Brock. He's got to be thinking about Sunday. Because Kyle's going into that definitely as an underdog. Despite being the world's champ. Dragon screw leg whip to take down Dolph. Adam likes what he sees on the floor. Of course, the other member of their team, Bobby Lashley, conspicuous by his absence at the moment. And a low drop kick there. We've seen, obviously, conspicuous by his absence is Bobby Lashley, but we also do have the fact that they've been talking about having Mace be part of their team after a hell of a show in a few weeks back. Is yet to be confirmed, but we have heard that there have been rumours. See Metalik now. Metalik up. Kyle goes to tag Brock and 
Brock's having none of it. Brock walks away. Metal Eat tags back into Dolph. And Brock's done. Brock's leaving the champ high and dry. Brock has left Kyle high and dry. And Kyle gets caught with a jumpy DDT from Dolph. Dolph another tag to Metal Eat. These guys keeping themselves fresh. Kyle is in trouble. Springboard into a bulldog. Adam is suddenly not liking what he sees anymore. Low drop kick from Metalik to the side of the head. And again, back and forth. These guys are continually keeping each other fresh in this match. And Dolph is just watching Kyle on the ground now. I'm not sure Dolph knows what to do. Maybe he feels sorry for Kyle. Nope, he doesn't feel sorry for Kyle. Another jumping DDT from Ziggler. And another attack to Metalik. These guys are just toying with the world's champ right now. Things I wasn't expecting. Metalik, big overhead chop and a springboard runner. Flips back to his feet like it's nothing. They are just taking it in turns. They're just trying to outdo each other against the world's champ right now. Dolph waiting for Kyle to get back to his feet again. Dolph charges in, goes for a famous. So Kyle slips behind. Takes Dolph down. Adam's probably considering jumping on the apron and seeing if he can be uh, Kyle's partner, but don't think that'll be allowed. In Seguri from Dolph. He goes back to tag to Metalik. These guys playing the tag team game incredibly well here. Kyle though throws Metalik into the corner, kicking out Metalik's knees. Back elbow goes for the overhead chop, gets caught. Goes for the ribs again, Kyle double underhook. And he keeps hold after the butterfly suplex. And a second again keeps hold. And goes into a DDT. Nice combination from Kyle O'Reilly there. Big drop kick takes Kyle down. Metalik another tag to Dolph. Dolph really taking his time in this match. Again, they're just toying with Kyle. It's not a smart thing to do to toy with the world's champion. As Kyle is proving right now with these big combination strikes. Kyle might be behind the 8-ball and on his own. But he is still the world's heavyweight champion. And he's there for a reason. He didn't just get lucky. I mean he got lucky the fact he was awarded the title on pure random draw. But at the same time he has defended that championship against the likes of Shawn Michaels. You know one of the greatest to ever do it. So he's not in this position by accident. So it's probably not smart to toy with him. As Dolph, I think, is starting to find out now. Dolph's starting to pick up the pace. Russian leg sweep. What's he thinking? Dolph pacing around. Decides to go for the tag. Metalik is in. Metalik going up top. What's he thinking? Diving elbow drop to the spine. Metalik setting up. Might be thinking Metalik driver. I think he is. This might be putting the world's champ away. Metalik driver. Holds it in for the pin. One. Two. No. Kyle kicks it out. That would have been a huge victory. No doubt. That would have been a huge win for Metalik. Regardless of the situation. Even in these circumstances. That would be a huge victory. Dolph letting Metalik go for it. He went for a spiral tap. Didn't connect to Kyle. Saito suplex, backdrop driver. Whatever you want to call it. No, Kyle's pissed. Kyle's pissed and hammering down on Metalik now. Knee drop. And Kyle back mounted it again. Most of the strikes. Back for the elbows. Yes. Connected perfectly to Metalik's head. Kyle is getting brutal in this one. He's getting vicious. He's getting nasty. Ducks a kick. Metalik slips behind. German suplex hooks it in for the pin, but Kyle got his feet on the ropes. Springboard moonsault connects perfectly as Kyle was getting up. Metalik tags out to Dolph. They really should have probably put one man away by now, but Kyle is not quitting. And Kyle just walks right into Dolph and Dolph drop kicks him. And tags back out to Metalik. This is the strategy they've clearly got. Wait, Kyle! Regal Plex holds it in one, two. Oh, Kyle almost had it there. 
Now kick to the ribs again. What's he thinking? Brain buster maybe. Yes he is. Good lord. And he's still not done. He's still not done. Kyle's being guillotine now. He's got him trapped. Locked in perfectly. Tried to choke him out. Dolph had to run in and break it. Last possible second. Kyle would have had it there. Wait, what's Kyle thinking? Oh, he's going for those triple flow. He's going for the double butterfly suplex. Rolling. And then into a DDT to take Dolph down. And Kyle goes for the pin. He thinks Malik might still be out of the guillotine too. He was. Malik was choked out on that guillotine. Kyle O'Reilly actually walks away with a victory here. In a two-on-one situation, Brock did nothing in that match except walk away. Because Kyle tagged himself in early on and Brock thought, you know what, yeah, screw you then. But credit where credit is due, Kyle O'Reilly fought off a two-on-one advantage against two real game and incredible competitors, incredible athletes in Metal League and Ziggler. They the first outing for them, but they, they fell short to the world's champ and the world's champ marches into extreme rules this Sunday with hella momentum on his side. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in this episode. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, all the fun stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.